welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Classic Star Trek Book Reviews. Now, I consider most of my books classic because I haven't gotten too, too many. Most of them are relatively ancient and something you probably won't find on the bookshelves much anymore, but they're definitely at Amazon anyway and maybe in the abysses that might still have bookstores. <laughs> I used to love going into bookstores. Anyway, now the next few in this series aren't novels, but they are a must-have, I think, in any TOS Trekkies library. And this is definitely one of them. And you can tell how awesome this book was, that the fact that it's awesome falling apart. <laughs> and this is just an awesome idea. And this is Quotable Star Trek by Jill Sherwin. And these are snippets, they're, they're quotes from up to Voyager, I think. And probably some of the movies, too. And they're just lines that pretty much smacked you upside the head when you first heard them. That, that kind of define Star Trek. The ideas and the, just the, you know, like the He's Jed Jim or Live Long and Prosper. Things that you remember. And when you hear certain lines, it's like, that's what it means. And it's just a collection of awesomeness. And it's set up in different... Is this another... Whoop. Trying to I think I'm missing a piece. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because that's supposed to fit there. 34, 35. Yeah, I'm missing the first few pages of my book. What the hey? It starts at 10. Where is my page? No, no I'm missing parts of it. That's never good. Buggers. That's the second part, so another part must have fallen out. Where the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, that, that this, is <laughs> this is one of the things I'll actually give to digital. You don't have this problem. But, I can't tell you what the... Okay, well, see, the human condition, human nature, good and evil, their honesty and trust, they're in different sections of you know, what the quotes are. Here is challenge and risk. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Kirk to Picard, Generations. I take it the odds are against us, and the shit situation is grim. You could say that. You know, if Spock were here, he'd say that I was an irrational, illogical human being for taking on a mission like that. Sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, it goes up to DS9. This is technology. Machine over man, Spock? It was impressive. Might even be practical. Practical, Captain? Perhaps, but not desirable. Computers make excellent and efficient servants. Servants. But I have no wish to serve under them, Captain. A starship also runs on loyalty to one man, and nothing may replace it or him. And it starts off kind of chronologically, too, where you'll start with TOS and then Next Gen. So, the chapters are kind of sequential. <laughs> and this is under technology. Computer? Computer? Uh, hello? Computer? Just use the keyboard. Keyboard. How quaint. <laughs> and you people must know where that one's from. They're just amazing ideas. God, he was so handsome. <laughs> I think even the risk is our business speech is in here. Still my favorite speech. Uh, it gives you the episodes are from ones from different people. Quotes from different people. You have Chakotay and different things he said about different things. And it's, it's set up interesting in the, in the back. <laughs> and this is from Trials and Tribulations. Fine, but I can't wait to get back to DS9 and see your face when you find out I never existed. Bashir to Cisco. I mean, Bashir to uh, O'Brien. <laughs> mm. Be nice if they re... I don't know if they reissued this for... Like, I don't know. Were there any good quotes in Enterprise? I don't know. <laughs> so they should do an updated version of this. This came out 
in a time I can't tell you because that part is missing in my book. Um, oh, 1999. And you might be able to get this through their website. Go simonsays.com. And what's that? It says that. Visit us on the World Wide Web, www.simonsays.com. But this is also out of pocket books. Good words. That's where ideas begin. Dr. David Marcus to Admiral James D. Kirk, uh, Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan. It makes us wonder. It makes us smile. But most of all, it makes us think. More than any other single aspect, Star Trek is defined by the strength of its ideas. For decades, this television and movie phenomenon has reached out to its audience, spanning generations and inspiring them not only simply with the power of its voice, but the meaning behind it. Quotable Star Trek demonstrates the truly universal appeal of Gene Roddenberry's extraordinary creation. Words of wit, wisdom, and compelling insight applicable to everyday life from the original series Star Trek Next Gen, Star Trek DS9, and Star Trek Voyager in the eight Star Trek motion pictures have been meticulously researched and collected into one volume. Intensely thought-provoking and thoroughly entertaining, quotable Star Trek has something for everyone, and it is a must-have resource for every devoted fan. And I totally agree with that. Obviously, because I love them so much, I'm missing these things. I mean, it's falling apart. It's still falling apart. So, I, I actually was looking into getting the digital version of this, and it's a lot more than I wanted to pay for it. <laughs> I want to say it's around six. It's under twenty dollars. I think it's between twelve and sixteen on Amazon, the Kindle version. But since I'm missing pieces, I might have to. <laughs> and all the best parts are in the front. The writer actually knew DeForest Kelly and kind of inspired her to put this book together. And I'm really, really glad she did because it's it's an amazing book. And I'm not quite sure how to phrase the thought here. It's good to go to if, you know, it's like, if you need some advice, <laughs> you know, it's like, well, I've got this problem, I'm dealing with this, well, it's parents, children, and family. Well, what do I do? <laughs> You'll read some of the quotes and maybe it'll be like, you know, it'll get you thinking and, you know, you know, deal with it here. This is Benjamin Sisko to Jake Sisko. It's your life, Jake. You have to choose your own way. There's only one thing I want from you. Find something you love, then do it the best you can. You know, I wish my parents could get that through their heads enough to get it through their kids' heads. You know, the parents that kind of want clones of themselves. Then when you have kids that are, like, so different from you, it's like, just let them do what they want to do, but let teach them to do the best that they can at it, you know? So... It's things like that. It's like, well, duh, why doesn't anybody, everybody know these things? It's like stuff that's like common sense that for some weird reason is actually epic because nobody seems to want to get it. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it just is Star Trek in a book. Everything that defines the series and the, the phenomena, basically. This, if you're a Trekkie, I don't care what, you know, if you're TOS, Enterprise, Next Gen, this you have to have in your library. This is a must-have. <laughs> Even if you're not a Trekkie, it's a good thing to have. It's... The ideas are important. You know, it's not just, you know, if you like philosophy, or if you just like even poetry in a way. It's, 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 it's something that can go over... I think non-Trekkies would like this too. Even if you don't know who the hell these people are, the concepts of the words are important. So definitely. Trekkie or non-Trekkie? Very good book. Very important book, I think. Lessons that should still be known. You know, just because they're put in a sci-fi fantasy package doesn't make the ideas and the concepts any less valid. Which is why a lot of people don't quite get us Trekkies. <laughs> it's like, just because it's in that package, you know, the ideas and the concepts and the lessons would be just as important if you're on Earth or on a spaceship. You know what I mean? So this is Quotable Star Trek by Jill Sherwin. And it is out of pocket books. A must-have. Do comment, rate, subscribe.
and I shall see you all in my next book review.